Hello my people on YouTube. So I'm back. I know this whole month has kind of been a little bit crazy in trying to get some reels out for in on the unofficial Inktober and I think after a period of few days I think it was getting a little bit overwhelming so I figured I'd just get back to my uh, original posting of videos which I do every Monday and uh, for this video I'm gonna be focusing on drawing a character which I'm pretty sure is very famous in the Hispanic and Mexican heritage and forgive me if I say this wrong or pronounce it wrong it's the character or the lady called Santa Morete so with that being said let's get started with the video so point number one is the term Santa Morete is the Spanish word that translates to holy death in English or the saint of death Unlike other Latin American folk saints, she's associated with healing, protection, financial well-being, and an assurance of a path to the afterlife. Point number two, it is believed that there are anywhere between 2,000 to about 10,000 saints in the world. But of these saints, only some are remembered and celebrated. Point number three, Santa Marete might seem mysterious, but her devotees embrace a wide variety of everyday practices like praying with the rosary, going on pilgrims to different places, and making offerings like apples, cigars, and candles at her altars. This one was kind of a little unique for me is because I've heard of offerings of candles in religious uh, proceedings, and um, the fruit, I mean, and the uh, offering of food, I get that, but cigars was something unique. Point number four, death figures like the Grim Reaper have been common and Catholic, imagery since the 13th century, rising from the terrifying experiences of medieval European plagues. Point number five. I know I said uh, at the beginning of this video that I would give you all eight points, but I think the last three kind of don't really tie into the other four points that I get, did give you all ahead of time. It's really awesome to know that this person or this lady as a saint or who became a saint actually appeared to somebody in the year 1797 and um, I think I've rambled on and I think this video is a little bit long and I don't know how long it took me to just record this one last point five. I mean I think I have recorded it and deleted it if not I'm just gonna shut it down and uh, start tomorrow let me show you all the final images and we will wrap this video up Alrighty people, so this is what the image looks like after I finally rendered it and uh, the beautiful halo. I know she's supposed to be the saint of death and uh, there are other different related terms to her but I wanted to kind of illustrate her in a more bright feeling because of my colors or in the blues that I like to use and um, I wanted to highlight it by showing the orange which signifies the the sun and obviously the rays of the sun coming out and obviously when you associate yourself with something as the sun it's something bright and um, just gets light into your day and all that what I will do is I will leave you guys off with showing you all uh, a panned image which kind of scrolls up and scrolls down and so that way you can get a better view of what it looks like in the very end so with that being said i will sign off by saying keep creating keep drawing i'll see you all down the road or on the other side bye for now